Hey yo, Chicks here. Today we're going to do Guild Boss Einek in Extreme again and I have a more optimized strat. So right now we are rank 3 in the whole Guild Boss. So definitely make sure to check out the other videos if you are interested to see how to get the top scores. And yeah, so the team is still going to be the same. We're just going to go through the gear really quick. So um, ban on a normal gear, also ban on the left side for this strat is actually pretty smart. Um, Liz, I have just her normal top pieces and you don't want to have any defense on her because she must not patience the corrosion in the second phase. And yeah, so <clears throat> Margaret not having any buffs, uh, not, not any top pieces and Zadiel having borrowed top pieces from Ludociel so that he still deals the damage caps which we are going to need in the first turn. Basically, nothing much really changed. The only change we are going to do is actually making our RNG even worse than before. We actually want to finish in turn 6 because of the mission. We just get 200 points, which is really insane. So the normal starting is basically still the same. We are just going to um, use the buff. We are going to power strike to break the shield and those AOEs are going to deal the 20k damage marks. And then we reset for a decent amount of barn cards so that we rush the ult of barn in turn 2 no matter what. So you at least need the barn AOE because you want to use the 2 star barn AOE. That barn AOE can deal the 100k damage mark which is giving us more points as well. And yeah, let's see when we're getting the run. It decent, 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 decent. Just unfortunate that we don't have the barn buffs yet but it is what it is. So, um, getting barn ult no matter what as I said. Um, so yeah, this is kind of unfortunate. But... One thing as well, um, with this strat, it is way more important to actually go for the um, debuffs than going for actual a golden buff. Of course, if you can get a golden buff within the six turns, great, you have the perfect run. But um, just like the other difficulties, if you are going to use... Okay, let me use those cards first. If you are going to have one more buff, uh, no, if you have one more debuff, then having a golden barn buff, that will be better. Um, so this will be most likely the example run, and then we're gonna see. So here, for example, when we move to transition, right? First of all, we move to transition way earlier so that we can actually finish early because we are in turn four and we are in phase two already. Here, if he doesn't have three debuffs, okay, really, if he doesn't have three debuffs, just quit out. Unless he has two and you have the setup for a golden barn buff. But yeah, here um, we still need this ult. We also need her to have all stacks. So if we are going to do this, do this, and do this. And we shouldn't merge yet because the reason is we still need to get that ult gauge and we must not break the shield. So um, the run right now is really, really bad. But as I said, this is going to be like an example run. And then we show you guys another run um, where we actually get a at least a 9k score. So for example, we had the 9.1k score already. And that was not a perfect run, by the way. So that's why I decided to redo it. So here, imagine we would have gotten um, the three stacks from earlier. We would have had the maximum stacks um, of Lizhawk. But yeah, it is what it is. Also, what I forgot to mention, in the previous turn, if he has three ult gauges, which means um, he would get ult in turn four, so four turn five, the run is over. Just quit out. Um, we're just gonna do this. This. How many Margaret stacks do we have? Okay, we don't even have the maximum Margaret stacks. So we have to use one AoE. We can't do more because else it's gonna be too much damage. Um... Actually, we could have used the Margaret AoE, I guess. Oh, Margaret getting ult? Fuck. Sadio too? Fuck. <laughs> no, yeah, I should have used the Margaret AoE to not get ult, but yeah. It is what it is, as I said. It is just a example run. Here, when he reapplies his shield, we got another debuff. So, um, as I said, if you have the maximum amount of debuffs, but not a golden buff, it's still gonna be the second best run you can have. So, um, basically, what we or how we would finish is breaking the shield, buffing, ulting, and ulting with Barn. And now we're going to show you guys another run where we're going to jump into turn two right away. And yeah, hopefully we 
break our current high score because that is the goal I'm looking for. And here you want to deal 200k damage mark and a lifesteal list would be way better, but I don't have that because, yeah, um, unfortunately, I have a defense orb. So it is what it is, but still almost 8k with like a very bad run without even a golden barn buff. Looks very interesting. Um, we should do this. We should merge this here like this so that we don't get an instant merger um, later. We can use this to swipe for the 100k damage mark. And this AOE is going to deal um, 20k damage mark. So that's why we use it now. Um, because without the buff of Margaret, he won't deal the 20k damage. Oh, damn. No more buff. That is unfortunate. But I think we might be able to milk out some more damage marks. Let's see. So... Um, Let's do this. This AOE won't. Okay, she, he, he has too many ult gauges. So we do this. This AOE won't. This will probably, maybe, deal the 20k. And then we are going to move to transition. And hopefully we get one more barn buff. And of course, the most important thing, guys. We want to have... A freaking full debuff of him not having three ult gauges that would be also very good but let's see oh oh my heart my heart guys fucking levi man why do you do this to me and we are missing so one two three wait one two three yeah so we are missing one more um buff as well so we should use this AOE, we should use this AOE, and we should use... Yeah, we can use... If we merge here... No, we have to use double... Double like this and hopefully we get like another barn buff or another list buff. So that we can maximize our um, buffs we used to increase the goddess stats with Margaret passive. Yes, we got this. Okay, please, two more two more debuffs. Two more debuffs, then it is the second best run. No, the third best run we could get. Come on. Yes! Yes, sir! Okay, got it. Fucking Levi, man. Okay, um, we have this. We have a ult already, and now we need to get the barn ult. Um, and we can finish in turn six. So we do this. We are going to move and do not... Make sure not to break the shield. Do not break the shield. So, now, we're gonna deal some damage, then we're gonna ult with Liz. And yo, Liz better be not killing. Better be not killing. So that's why I also decided to use the two-star swipe, if possible, in phase one. Because the good thing is, um, we can just get the damage mark in turn one, instead of doing it now, where it's risky as fuck. So we reduce the damage. So this, I hope it deals 100, uh, 200k. Then we are going to buff up. And we have all the stacks of Margaret. Never cleanse. Because if you cleanse, your run is over. So yes, yeah, you can see everyone is on very high health. Um, But yeah, unfortunately our Liz, she doesn't have a life still set on. So we miss in points of that. And of course that one missing corrosion card we uh, don't have so 20k damage mark 200k damage mark and this is a turn six finisher um i like extreme this is how you just play the game you know so yeah and the score it should be a better score because i didn't have the 200k damage mark and this is how you can score 9266 in a not perfect run i really hope it was helpful or you enjoyed watching this Thank you so much for tuning in and peace out for now.